In the Rhineland, the British flags were coming down. The Allied armies of occupation left there in 1919 were moving out. Yes, wars were to be a thing of the past, and so, it seemed, were enemies. The last British units left for home. Some were taking German wives with them. Others were loving and leaving. The British were off home and glad of it. The Germans could be left to themselves. Meanwhile, in Britain, the world's Boy Scouts held a great jamboree in the presence of the chief and original number one scout, Baden Powell. And talking of scouts, an old man named Horn wrote a bestseller about his experiences in Africa. It's titled Trader Horn. Another candidate for fame, a Mr. Frank Valentino, a barber of New York City, was said to have annoyed Mussolini by closely resembling him. And on the subject of annoyances, Billy Bennett once again got thrown out of a pub for disregarding a local rule, the rule that you pay for your drink. is that Charleston had raged like a forest fire and was still holding its own. But the Apache of Sidney Howard and Vera Pierce looked like running at a close second. Sunny boy sweeping the world, the stream was starting to speak in deadly earnest. Talkies were the mode. Britain's first was a film called Blackmail. Its stars, John Longdon and Donald Coulthard. So rather unfortunate that Scotland Yard are at present looking for that man. But there's one thing you seem to have forgotten. Before we get to any hanging, I shall have quite a lot to say. And the first thing I shall say is that she was there too. The director of this thriller made his customary personal appearance, Alfred Hitchcock. <laughs> 